Hey guys, this is Brad Barnes, the Barnes Foil Drive. Today we're going to look at our TJ High Clearance Heavy Duty Fuel Tank Skid Plate. So guys, if you've wheeled much with your TJ, you know the factory skid plate on your fuel tank is just way too thin. We've actually seen fuel tanks get completely removed off of Jeeps out on the trail at times. Our skid plate is constructed out of all 316 steel. We really feel like steel is the way to go on these skid plates. It's made to take a lot of abuse and it's not going to gouge like softer materials. We really try to maximize clearance with this skid plate to help you out on the trail. This skid plate is going to move your fuel tank one inch higher up in your frame. You are going to need a one inch body lift to accommodate this skid plate. But we really feel like the gains are well worth it. So our fuel tank skid is going to maintain all your factory mounting locations. One thing we did that's really important on these TJ fuel tank skid plates is we incorporated a dimple for the fuel pickup and fuel pump. It's really important to maintain that dimple on your fuel tank skid plate on the TJ. If you don't, it can damage your fuel pickup, which also houses your fuel pump. Okay, the tools we're going to need on this installation on R97 Jeep TJ are a 3 8 ratchet, a long extension, half inch socket, Phillips head screwdriver, and a straight screwdriver. We've got our Jeep on a nice level surface. We've removed the fuel filler neck, we've disconnected the fuel lines, and the electrical connections to the pump. One thing that does make this job a little bit easier is to have a fuel tank with little or no fuel in it. Now we're ready to support the weight of the fuel tank with our jack, and then we can remove the hardware that holds the skid plate to the chassis. Okay guys, here on the front side, we've got three nuts that we need to remove. To reach these, you are going to need a long extension. So we've got everything disconnected from the fuel tank, and we've got the fuel tank skid unbolted from the chassis. Now we're ready to drop the tank. Okay, so we got our fuel tank dropped. Now we need to get the fuel tank out of the factory skid. To do this, we're gonna remove these two nuts here that hold these bands that keep the gas tank attached to the gas tank skid plate. Okay, so here's the factory TJ skid plate. You can see it's made out of really thin material. It's actually not boxed all the way around. And for some reason, they put a little extra material right here. So what we've done with our new one is we've completely boxed it all the way around and we've tightened this corner up just to make it as tight as possible. Okay, we've got our fuel tank set in our skid plate. Now we're ready to use the factory straps to get it strapped into the skid plate. Okay, we got our fuel tank installed in our skid plate. Now we're ready to take and make sure all of our connections are out of the way and we can slide our fuel tank up under the Jeep and lift it into place with our jack. Okay, we got the fuel tank lifted into place. Now all the thing we need to do is bolt it back to the frame. Okay, we've got it bolted in at the back of the Jeep. Now we just gotta put our nuts on the three studs here at the front of the skid plate. Okay guys, we've got our skid plate installed back in the Jeep. We've got all our fuel lines connected back. We've got our electrical connection there at our sending unit and pump connected. And uh, as you can see, we've gained an inch of ground clearance. We've got the fuel tank fully enclosed and protected. And you know, you're ready to get out and hit the trail. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like it, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you on the trail soon.